Hi everyone, Fran Higgins here. In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to add a header and footer to a multiple page document in which you only need the header and footer on particular pages. With our branding standards, the emblem header only needs to be on the top right of the first page, and the word mark or system logo only needs to be at the bottom of the last page. When you insert either a header or a footer, they appear on every page by default. And I'm going to show you how to insert a section break so that you can remove them from one page without deleting them from the whole document. In case you need a little refresher on how to get your header and your footer in there in the first place, double click in the header section, go to insert pictures, and then navigate to the picture that you want to place. And you do the same for the footer so that you have a footer and a header on each page. Okay, so once that's there, you want to navigate to the end of the last sentence on the first page and place your cursor there. Go up to Page Layout on the ribbon, select the drop down under Breaks, and click on Next Page. That inserts a section break after the last sentence on the first page. Now if you double click in the header bar of the page 2, you'll see that now you have section 1, section 2, and over on the right it says same as previous. That's your default setting. We want to remove that. So up here on the ribbon where it says link to previous and it's highlighted, click that and now the link is gone. So if we want to remove the header bar from page 2 and 3, we just click on the picture in the header of page 2 and remove it. If you scroll down now you'll see that it's gone from page 3 and page 2, but it's still there at the top on page 1. And that's because you removed the link. Now you want to do the same for the footer. So we need to place another section break before the last page. Okay, you're going to go down to the end of the second page, or the page before the last, and you're going to click Page Layout, Breaks, Next Page. And now you'll see, if you click in the header bar again, now you have Section 3 as well as Section 2. And again, it's linked to the previous. What you want to do is go down to the last page footer, the one that you want to keep the logo on, and where it says same as previous, again, go up to the ribbon and unlink. Go back to page two, again, remove the footer from page two, and since that's still linked, that footer is still linked to the previous page, you'll see that it's gone from page one and page two now, but it's still there at the bottom on your last page. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, be sure and save your document, and you can use this as a template for a future layout. Thanks for watching.